Hi everyone, welcome to the first lesson of matter, uh, naming elements and their symbols. Keywords, atom, element, periodic table, symbol, group, period and atomic number, which will all make sense to you by the end of this video. Okay, pause the video and do the knowledge check. Um, the answers are simply true or false with a 50-50 chance of getting it right. So pause the video now and complete the knowledge check. Okay, welcome back. So I'm going to go through the answers. I've got a green pen. Um, use a different coloured pen or if you're doing it on a Word document um, highlight or whatever it is that you are doing. So the smallest substance known to man is the molecule. That's actually false. Everything that has been made, that has mass, is made from atoms. That's true. Atoms can be different sizes. Also true. Atoms can be th seen through a light microscope. That is false. Letters are used as the symbol for an element. That is true. All elements have the same symbol. False. There are approximately a hundred different elements. True. All elements are metals. That is false. Give yourself a score out of eight. This is a new topic, so don't stress too much. Um, and hopefully as time goes on, that will all start to make sense. So moving on then for today's lesson, you're going to be able to name and the symbol of the first 20 elements in the periodic table. So, a quick um, paragraph here, some theory knowledge that is really important that we do need to know. So, apologies. So, naming elements. All substances are made of atoms, everything. Rulers, pens, you, a pencil case, a desk, every single thing is made up of atoms. And the definition of an atom is that it's the smallest part of an element. Elements are shown in the periodic table, and we're going to have a look at that in just a second. And they're made up of only one type of atom, and that's really important. So, oxygen is an element. And it's only made up of oxygen atoms. So, um, example. Oxygen element is only made up of oxygen atoms. Carbon element is only made up of carbon atoms. Okay. So each element is represented by a chemical symbol. And they all have a different symbol. So no element, no two elements have got the same symbol. The first letter is always uppercase, or another way of saying that is a capital letter. If, and note how it says if, there is a second letter, it is lowercase. Okay. And it's really important that you write the symbols correctly. So, for example, aluminium is represented by AL. This is a capital. But this letter must be 
lower case. So if you wrote it like this in an exam, A, capital A, capital L, it would be marked wrong. It must be represented as A, L. So, everything is made of atoms. Atom is the smallest part. Periodic table is where we find our elements. Elements are only made up of one type of atom. They're represented by a chemical symbol. First letter is uppercase. Second letter, if there is one, is always lowercase. Basic information, but these are must learn facts. Really, really important. Okay, moving on then to the next page, and we are going to focus on this part of the periodic table. So this part of the periodic table is the first 20 elements. Under this video, you will find a link to the periodic table song. Um, and have a listen, but just up to calcium, no further. So, groups are the columns. And they go down. Periods are the rows and they go across. As you can see, the groups are in Roman numerals and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the last group is group zero, not group eight. And this fact will be explained to you further in the topic. So there are eight groups all together. So there are eight groups in total. Okay, the next thing I need you to do is draw a line almost like steps from hydrogen, boron, okay. This line represents the separation between the metals and the non-metals of the periodic table. So on the right side, we have the non-metals. And on the left side, we have the metals. As you can see, we have two numbers on all of the elements on the periodic table. We have the symbol and we have the chemical name or the element name. Okay. Note that if there is a second letter, they are it is shown as a lowercase letter with all of the other letters uppercase. And they must, when you answer a question, for example, what is the symbol for helium, it must be shown as a capital H and a lowercase e. Okay, you can spend some time learning these um, and there is a self quiz on the next page. giving you an opportunity to try and learn these. You will always be given a periodic table in a test or an exam, but it is good to be able to read the periodic table and just try and remember them. On the first attempt, I would try and do the, as many as you can remember, both the symbol and the name. For the second attempt, cover the first attempt answers 
but I would try and do the second attempt in order. So as you can see, the atomic number here and the atomic number also on the periodic table. Okay. And again, the same for attempt three, trying to do it in that order and covering attempt one and two. So feel free to pause the video and have a go at that. Okay, so a few more key facts before we move on to a couple of tasks. The periodic table itself, it was formulated by a gentleman called Dmitry Mendeleev. He arranged the elements into rows, which are called periods, and columns, which are called groups. And he ordered the elements in their atomic mass. So if we just go back to the periodic table, the atomic mass is the top number. So 1, 4, 7, 9, 11, etc. That's the atomic mass. The atomic number, which is the bottom number, increases by one each time. And again, these are some key facts, must learn key facts. Okay, so let's have a look at our periodic table then and do some practice before we do the task. So, questions that can be asked are name the element in a certain group and a certain period. So for example, name the element in group five, period two. So the easiest way to do this is to read down the group. So I find group five, read down the group, period two, and wherever, whatever square they meet in is your answer. So the element in group five, period two, is nitrogen, capital N. Another example, the element in group seven, period three, group seven, period three, chlorine represented by the symbol capital C, small l. Group two, period four. Group two, period four is calcium. So you simply read down for the group and read across for the period. So having, using that information, have a go at task one. Remember, these are Roman numerals. So this is group one group three, group five, group six, group zero, group two, and group four. But your Roman numerals are on your periodic table. I'll do the first one with you, and then you can pause the video and complete the remainder of the task. So we're looking for the element name and symbol of group one, period two. So. Group one, period two, and I come to lithium. So I would write lithium in the element name, and the element symbol is capital L, lowercase i. Pause the video to complete the task and make sure you use your periodic table to help you. Okay, welcome back. Hopefully you've completed that task. So here are the answers which I will do in green pen to show the difference. So the element name of group in group three, period two, is boron, represented by a capital B. Group five, period three, is phosphorus. Phosphorus. For us, capital P. Group six, period two is oxygen, represented by a capital O. Group zero, period one is helium, represented by capital H, 
lowercase e. Group two, period two is beryllium. Represented by a capital B, lowercase e. And group four, period two is carbon represented by a capital C. Well done if you got those right. You can only get them right if you have the element name written as they are written here, i.e. capital and lowercase. Extremely important. Okay, different task this time. There's a few more bits of information that you need to fill in in the periodic table. So, I'll do the first one with you. Element symbol CA, and it wants to know the group, period, and the element name. So, I find CA on my periodic table, and it is calcium. So the element name is calcium. It is in period four, because we read across, remember, for the period. And it is in group two. And if you have a look at the, the task, it says the group in Roman numerals. So group two in Roman numerals is shown as that. Pause the video now and complete the rest of the table. Okay, welcome back yet again. Hopefully you've managed to do that. Here are the answers. Capital C, lowercase l, is chlorine. Chlorine can be found in period three, group seven, represented by VII in Roman numerals. Capital F is fluorine. Find in group two, period, or sorry, period two, group seven. The next one is sodium, Na, sodium. Find in period three, group one. Boron, the symbol for boron is a capital B. Boron is found in group three, period two. The element symbol for sulfur is a capital S. Find in group six, period three. Hydrogen, bit of a tricky one. So H for hydrogen. The period is easy, it's found in period one. And is also found in group one. Well done if you got that correct. Okay. Moving on now to the knowledge and application check on the next page. Pause the video and have a go at questions one, to 16 which can be found on the following page. Read the questions carefully. If it says state the symbol, remember that that will be the letters. So for questions four, five and six, it will be the letters. Name the element. Name the element means that you are writing the element name, not the symbol. It's important that we are answering what the question is asking us and not what we think we know. Same goes for question 10. It's the element name. Group and period, atomic number, name the element, question 14, element name, and the number of elements in each of the first three periods. So I would do period one has so many, 
period two has so many, period three has so many. Pause the video and work your way through those questions using the periodic table to help you answer them. Okay, welcome back. I'm going to get my green pen as I always do and I'm going to go through the answers. So, name the rows in the periodic table, fairly straightforward, they are the periods. Name the columns, they are the groups. Complete the sentence, the elements are placed in order of, you can find that information in your must learn key facts under the periodic table, and that is of their atomic mass. State the symbol for helium, that's a capital H, lowercase e. The symbol for potassium is K, not P. The symbol for phosphorus is a capital P. The number of elements in period two is eight. The element in group two, period two, is beryllium. The element in group five, period two, is nitrogen. The element in group zero, period two, is neon. There are eight groups on the periodic table. Group 7 plus group 0, so 7 plus 1 is 8. The group and period of boron, so it's group 3, period 2. The atomic number of lithium is 3. The element with the atomic number of 11 is sodium. Seven metals from the first 20 elements. Remember they are found on the left side, so lithium, sodium, beryllium, magnesium, potassium, calcium and aluminium. The first, the number of elements in each of the first three periods. So in period one there are two elements. In period two there are eight elements and in period three there are also eight elements. Give yourself a score out of 16. And if you have a look at the bottom of the page, there is a table with some keywords and definitions. These are really important to learn. Okay, must learn. definitions and that brings us to the end of lesson one in the matter booklet and hopefully you will feel a lot more confident with our periodic table and confidence will only grow as we work through these lessons <laughs>